Hey everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing the model view architecture. Okay, and what do I mean by that? If we go over to the help pages and we search for model view programming, we can see that there's this picture right here. Okay. Inside of this picture we can see that there is data. Okay. Now for a model view architecture system to work, we need our data okay that we pass off to our model okay so now our model holds all of our data right now we need to be able to 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 view that on the screen so we pass it to a view okay once we get it from a view we can then pass each thing that's in our model to a delegate okay and then we can even edit our model from our delegates or even our data. Okay, so again, say we had data for like uh, for like TV shows, like we had uh, like the, the time that it starts, the time that it ends, the uh, channel that it's on, and just a couple other things like, you know, the, the name of the program, the description, and like some authors or something. Right? We could have all of that in our model, because it came from our data, and then we have a view that has our model in it, and we can delegate each one of those things, like the author, the start time, the end time, those things we were just talking about. Okay, So to do that, let's just start out. Let's uh, create a new project, application I should say, and uh, QT Quick 2 UI, and choose. And we are going to name this one Mod. Go ahead and press next. Finish. Okay, we're going to get rid of this text and mouse area here. Go ahead and import our trusty Qt quick window 2.0. We will set the screen divided by 2. And screen divided by two. Okay. Now we have to get data in order to put it into our model. So let, let's go ahead and create a new file. We'll go over here, files and classes, QT, QML, choose. We're going to call this one my model. Press next, no version control and finish. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this rectangle. Okay, so we need to add data. One way to add data is we can use a list element. Okay, and you guys might re have remembered from my other tutorials where we had something like property and the type of property that it was, the name of the property, and then the value. List element kind of works like that, but instead of us having to do property and type, we can just do the name of our property and then the value of it, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say name and we'll set it equal to apples, okay? And we'll set the, uh, let's see here, we'll say C for color and we'll say the color of apples are red and we'll say P for price and we'll say the price of apples are $2 and two cents. Okay. So now <clears throat> we've got one piece of, of data. Okay. Names. And it's defined as Apple. We've got C defined as red and P defined as 2.02. .02. So let's go ahead and create a couple more of these so we can have more than one piece of data. Okay. And now let's go ahead and wrap our elements, okay, in our model here. As you remember from the beginning of the tutorial in our help page here, data goes into a model. So we have our model, we have our data inside of our model here. Let's change this to be oranges. And of course, oranges are. And 
grapes. They're purple. And maybe they are three dollars and ninety-nine cents and oranges are two dollars and ninety-nine cents. As you can tell, I would win on the prices right. So at any rate, we now have data inside of a model. So if we look back over at the help page here, you can see we have data, model, and a view. So now we have to create a view. All right, so let's go back over. Let's go to our original page, mod, and let's go ahead and type in list view. This is one type of view. There are many different types of views. Um, we'll get more into that later on. And let's go ahead and set some width and height. Now let's point to our model. Okay, now we could just type in my model like this. Okay, we could take, put it down here, give it an ID, say mod, and put model as mod. Okay, or we could have even just made it on this where, where my model is right here. We could have just made all of this right there. Okay. Now we have a list view. Okay, so we got our view now, and now we have our model. What comes next? We have our delegate. So we have to delegate things. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's, uh, in our list view, let's go ahead and type in delegate. And we are going to just delegate some text to start out with. And now, if we go back over to our data, we can see that each one of the things are set for us. Okay, so let's just go ahead and use the property of name. Okay, so name. So what this is going to do is, is it's going to call on the model. Okay, and it's going to look and it's going to delegate each one of these names. Name, name, name. So apples, oranges, grapes. Now as long as everything's typed right, it should be good. There we go. Apples, oranges, and grapes. Now we could get this delegate here to be a lot better. We can create a new file, QT Quick File 2, press choose. We're going to say my del or delegate, whatever you would like to call it. We're going to go ahead and get this out of here. And we're going to go back over to my our original right here. And let's go ahead and get some width and height here. And in our delegate, we'll make an item. We'll set the width and height, and we're going to actually divide the screen height. Okay, uh, we have to import our trusty Qt Quick Window 2.0. And actually, let's just leave it like this, so I can I can show you what I mean. And if you remember our text, and we'll just say name. <coughs> And uh, excuse me, let's go ahead and run this now. Unexpected token line 19, huh? Let's see here, what's going on here? Mod. Oh, because we don't have a delegate. So we have to delegate my DAO. There we go. Go ahead, save and run that. I feel silly about that. And see, we have apples here. And if we scroll down, this is the power of list view, it scrolls for us automatically. We have oranges. And we have grapes, and then it stops. Okay, that's all right. But we kind of want them together. So in our delegate, because our delegate is just an item, just like our button before when we first started out in these tutorials, our button was an item. Let's go ahead and set that to be, say, divided by 10. Save and run this. There we go, that's looking better. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add a couple other things. Let's, let's add in a rectangle. We will wrap the text in the rep. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll say ID equals base rack. And color is going to be equal to C, as you remember from before. Now let's put some uh, width and height in it. Okay. And let's anchor center in to base rack and let's make the font oh 
Okay, so now we have apple, oranges, and grapes. All right, and the color is already defined by the color. So let's do right here, let's say, hmm, we could do a row if we wanted to. We could do a bunch of different things. Uh, let's make some more text here. And in this text, we are going to go ahead and set this to be price. not even do any centering and now let's take and make an image okay and we did not set that up in our model over here yet in our data we don't have anything for a source so for source we're just going to use s and we're going to go over here we're going to type in apple wait for it to search and do its thing. There's an apple. Open link in a new tab. Open an image. Okay. image URL so you can see we can add more and more and more things to make this more and more powerful so in my delegate here we're gonna go ahead and say the file is equal to source here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say like that but instead I am going to say height so it's the exact same size as the height and let's we could do some anchoring here and stuff but let's just uh, run this and make sure that uh, everything's looking all right here okay good we've got our apples our oranges and our grapes okay now we can take and say Anchors, uh, right? Parent dot right. Let's go ahead and run that. There we go. And we can go ahead and start finishing up our anchors really quick. We can say. Vertical center. Parent dot. Vertical. Whoops, I spelled parent wrong. Parent. Uh, vertical center and run this again there we go that's a lot better okay let's uh, divide this by 12 and we will say get some anchors on this image vertical center and we will set horizontal center to parent horizontal center save and run that oh we don't want it we just want it as vertical center there we go we can give it some left margin maybe we'll give it two on the left margin we'll say ft margin two better. Now we can go back over, let's clean this up, we can go back over to our mod over here and uh, we can add some spacing. For simplicity I'm just going to put in 10. Okay. Now let's add a header. So to do this really simply we can create a new file, QT Quick uh, 2 file, 
and we'll call it header. And we'll take this rectangle and we're going to make it the exact same size uh, as the item but a little bit bigger. So we'll go back over to our delegate and we'll grab this. that in there but we're gonna make it bigger so we'll say divided by eight and we need to import our trusty QT quick to uh, windows and let's go ahead and make the color of this one gray Go ahead and add our header now. Let's clean this up a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and add our header. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay. Let's add some text to our header. say 48 for right now. Um, or actually let's give an ID. Call it head. And we'll say head dot height divided by 1.4. And we'll set the font dot pixels oh font dot bold to be true. And we will and eh, that's good for now. Run it. There we go. Fruits, apples, oranges, and grapes. Okay. We could also add a footer to it if we wanted to. Um, we could add highlighting to it. Um, we can describe, uh, let's, we can say how fast this is going to move up and down. We can cache it so that we know when to get it. Uh, we can set the the orientation of how it is. See how it's vertical right now where it's like this? We could set it up to be horizontal so we would be s scrolling from uh, left to right or right to left. Uh, we can change if it's right to left or left to right. Um, there are a bunch of things. Uh, I would say I would suggest highly going into the help menu and because list view is so powerful and uh, go through and look at each one of the uh, properties and uh, play around with it. Uh, it could be a lot of fun making uh, list views. Anyways, I am Joseph. Uh, this is the end of our first tutorial on model view architecture. Have a good one and enjoy yourself.